Well, this season, the NFL is allowing players to use a guardian cap on their helmet during the games. But you may be wondering, what is a guardian cap and how does it reduce the risk of a concussion? Yeah, did you see the game last night, Monday Night Football? There was a Tampa Bay Buccaneers player who was wearing, I believe he was a, an offensive lineman. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Nicole Freemerick is a sports medicine physician <clears throat> and assistant professor of primary care at Kansas City University, and she is back with us on the 9 o'clock show. Good it's morning. great to see you again. Thank you for having Dr. me. Dr. Freemerick. And uh, so uh, tell us a little bit about this is the, the Guardian cap, and, and yes. how does it benefit, benefit athletes that wear it? Yeah, so the goal is not to prevent concussions. Right. The goal is to reduce that impact, to reduce the risk of concussions. I see. Nice. Okay, so tell us about the Guardian cap and kind of what it does, how it works for a player, maybe softens the blow when they land, or tell us about that. Absolutely. That's exactly what it does. So the idea specifically with the Guardian cap is there's the foam layers that you can see within it that reduce the forces that go through straight through from the helmet to the head mm. to try to reduce that risk. Okay. Uh, do players wear anything in addition to this in order to reduce the, the risk of concussions? So there, Any accessories or anything? <laughs> it's a great question. So there are things that they can wear. There's actually different types of caps that can be worn as well that have been studied uh, at Virginia Tech. There's a helmet lab that they do that they've looked at all different types of helmets that from biking to water sports to football. Uh, and then in addition to that, you know, there's different studies on whether uh, you can do mouth guards. There's certain type of collars you may have seen in the NFL. There's mm. different things that, that have been come up in studies that I think we're still working through in the medicine side of things of exactly what the best thing to reduce the concussion risk is. Yeah, and I know these are really specifically for the NFL, but have you guys done research that this can help with even middle school and high school players? Yes, absolutely. So it's really important. There's actually studies that show that by two players who are going to have that impact, both wearing the uh, protective gear like the Guardian cap that reduces the risk even more than just one player doing it. So it's super important that this can be purchased at any local sporting goods store. It can be purchased online, and those types of caps can be worn by kids of all ages. Wow. Mm. Uh, can you help remind us about uh, the risks of repeated concussions uh, for football players? soccer players, any types of athletes who are susceptible to um, head injuries. Well, I mean, they're developing this technology for a reason, and it's because concussions can really have a devastating effect on people later on in life. You are absolutely correct. So you, I think you mentioned earlier on the show talking about, you know, we worry about CTE. That's kind of the extreme. In the, in the shorter term, you might be looking at cognitive impairments, difficulty with memory, sometimes functional impairments. Uh, if the more concussions you get, it increases the recovery time, actually. So you're each with concussion. Oftentimes, we'll see that recovery take longer and longer. So there's lots of effects that can come. So anything we can do to reduce that risk is super important. Mm. If people are watching at home and they have more questions, how can they get in contact with you? Yeah, so the best way to do it is searching for your local uh, sports medicine providers that help take care of you. And then from a middle school, high school type perspective as well, really important to get in contact with those athletic trainers. That are, or athletic directors in those programs, and they can help guide you the right direction. One this last question. Really important. Yeah, One absolutely. Last <laughs> so it looks like that, it looks like the guardian cap would add a lot of weight to a helmet, and, yeah. and an athlete who's out there running around does not want any extra weight on there. How much does that guardian cap weigh, and does it really is it really that that much? It's really not that heavy. That particular guardian cap, I believe, is about uh, is is under a pound. I think it's 0.7 pounds oh, or something very like light. that. Yeah. yeah. So it's really not that heavy, and I think with their practice. Practicing with it regularly, they're getting the feel. They're used to that type of equipment. Just like if you were to change shoulder pads or uh, a tape, taped ankle, you start to get used to the way it's supposed to be, and you get comfortable with it. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, we start to see more players with it. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's absolutely. Very helpful. All right, Dr. Freeman, good to see you again. Yes. Thanks for coming on. Thank yeah. you so much for Thanks having for me. Thanks for coming on. Appreciate it.